I'm sure some of you are wondering why I'm doing this right now here before we leave Wyoming, but we got to get the cape off because we're doing a full shoulder mount. The other real reason is that Wyoming is a chronic wasting disease state. And if you read your regulations, most states do not allow transportation of brain or spinal material across state lines. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cape this out. I have a friend on the way home. Uh, he wants to see it. So we're going to stop. And he's going to look at it and he's going to bring his sawzall and he's going to cut the skull cap off. The real issue is if you're a hunter, do not spread chronic wasting disease. Anyone who knows how much effort it takes to manage chronic wasting disease, and it's really hard to even manage, but look at the states that have it and how much money they're spending. You don't want to spread it. So make sure you're not transporting brain or spinal material from your harvested animals across state lines. This head is staying in Wyoming. All right, folks, you saw me in that blizzard in Wyoming taking care of this elk. On our way out of Wyoming, I stopped at my friend Jim's house in Casper because I knew I could not take Matthew's elk out of Wyoming into Montana. And with his sawzall, Jim took care of this. So that's what we ended up with. And the reason is, is because of chronic wasting disease. I know we said that earlier in the video, but I want to emphasize it because recently there's been all of this stuff coming out I will call it fake news, for lack of a better term. There are groups that do not like the management strategies that the states are having to employ to manage chronic wasting disease. And so they are out there shopping for opinions, trying to create doubt in hunters that, oh, CWD will be cured in the next 12 to 18 months. Oh, CWD is fake. CWD is this. No, CWD is real, and one thing hunters may do by accident, just by not even knowing, is by taking an infected animal from one state and bringing it to their home state. And that's why all of the states have come up with these rules where you cannot transport skulls or the spinal material. So if it has brain matter or spinal material, you cannot transport it across state lines. So you've seen videos we've done in the past. Right down there is Marcus's coos deer from Arizona. He boiled that right out in the field. We boiled three of them out in the field in Nevada. Don't transport animals. Don't take heads or spinal material across state lines. First of all, now you're probably violating a law, but most importantly, you run the chance of spreading chronic wasting disease to some place that currently doesn't have it. So when you look around our office, if you come in here, you're going to see a lot of Euro mounts. And a lot of those Euro mounts get done right out in the field. Thanks for watching.